What is crack a lack again? Everybody, this is JT from the, the, oh, what am I? I'm that guy. But <laughs> this is JT, the OCG. And I am coming to you from the place to be. Cooperstown, New York, Hall of Fame, which has been postponed that I can see. But boom, boom, boom. Whack, 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 whack. All right, so. We are getting. We are still going through our 1997. So I know because of COVID, and that I was working on COVID, and I have not uploaded many videos in four months. I'm going to give you like a lowdown uh, of what uh, this out of the park baseball franchise, uh, omnipresent God mode, commissioner mode, maybe uh, Bob Costas mode. How about that? Uh, it entails. So we'll go through that. But first, I want you to. Um, Go and sub to the Kean channel, who is going to celebrate his fourth year on YouTube. Um, and uh, the the link down in the description. Uh, please give him a lot of support. He does great things. Um, uh, a lot of Minecraft, building on Minecraft. Um, stuff that I don't do. Uh, modern warfare, first-person shooters, Minecraft, that type of thing. And so, uh, a wonderful creator. Um, and then he plays games with his, uh, his youngest, uh, his youngest sister and, uh, the banter between them is absolutely fabulous. Uh, so he's one of my favorites. Now, uh, let's go through this. Bob Costas became the, uh, commissioner. Uh, there was a growing, uh, sentiment because of the strike in 1994 where they for, uh, they suspended and, and, and had a foregoance of the World Series. Uh, the first time ever um, since 1904. But and what I want to ask is, uh, uh, thank you for for coming on so long, listening to me rant, and follow my Discord down there. Um, follow my Discord, and in the Discord there is something where you could create a player where I'm going to throw you into the draft next year. And most of you guys, uh, well, all you guys are going to be like three three star prospects, or you know, two and a half three stars. Uh, and you're going to go through the minor league. So even if you don't know baseball, every time I do a video, we're going to do a spotlight on all of the user players. Uh, you can make up a name. You can use your real name. It doesn't matter. Uh, just fill out that form in the Discord and let me know. Thank you. Get up my interlawn. Jones hitting that home run. He hit two in the last game of the season. So... He ties Dante Bichette with 66 home runs, which I never had in any any league I've ever I, I've ever played. I've never had that where I have two uh, home run champion, single season home run champions, or even career or anything like that nature. So yeah, that's Chipper Jones. He also wins the Triple Crown. Um, so so uh, here's here's one thing. Like Sosa McGuire got nailed for PEDs in 1995. Uh, and just to run that down, I have Bob Costas as the commissioner. Uh, so I have uh, eight years to become a free agent, uh, six or five years to become a minor league free agent, or maybe six years. No DH in either league. The DH is abolished. Uh, home runs were supposed to go down, and we're supposed to go to a more... Uh, 70s, 1970s type of thing where you had stoppers. And we do have a lot of stoppers. There's not a lot of there's not a lot of saves. Uh, some teams will have some teams will have 40 40 plus saves. Uh, Troy Percival of the Angels, for example. But most won't. What else did I have? Oh, and four expansion teams, which is uh, Havana, uh, Cuba, uh, Mexico City, which uh, is a higher elevation than Colorado, so the balls fly out of there. Well, um, Hawaii. And, oh, I brought the Washington Nationals. So the Montreal Expos are never going to go away. And the Washington Nationals can go to the American League. So, uh, we have um, the... Braves and the Portland Beavers are going to face off in the playoffs, as are the Blue Jays and the Mariners, who won for, uh, in 1995, the Los Angeles Angels won the World Series. Manager Marcel Lashman. In 1996, the Portland Beavers, who used to be the Florida Marlins, 
they, they move to Portland with the manager, Rene Lashman. Yes, they're brothers. They were also known as the worst managers in the 90s. And for this league, they've won the first two World Series. Uh, so, yeah, Seattle won by California by one game, and it was because of Mark Langston, Chuck Finley had being injured at the end of the year. Uh, and that's another thing. Bob Costas is the man. He, he basically put PED tests. Uh, a lot of players got nailed and had to sit out 1995 for testing positive. Mark McGuire was one, and so was not Sammy Sosa. Now, Sammy Sosa came back, and he didn't lose anything. He was out for an entire year. He did not play for all of 1995, but he came back, and he hasn't lost a step, so 52-56. Here's the weird thing about McGuire. So McGuire, I did the whole Tony La Russa moving to St. Louis and getting McGuire and Eckersley to come with him along with all his coaches. He only played in 96 games, 339 at best. He hit 52 home runs. He hit 52. He hit 59 last year. But now he hit 52. Oh my God, what if he played 150 games? What if he had 250 more at bats or plate appearances. Holy jeez. He could have had 70 home runs like he really did. He have 70 home runs? I think he had. Yeah. He, he would have 70 home runs like he really did. Son of a. I can't get rid of the, the freaking steroid error. No matter what I do. And I have switched it to like have the modifiers and everything. And damn it. They, this game just wants fucking steroids. Uh, sorry for my language. Anyway, so we have uh, so Chipper Jones, and you got Larry Walker, who's doing great over there in Colorado. Mike Wolf, this is what I like to do with uh, these players. I mean, Mike Wolf has um, Mike Wolf has a hell of a uh, uh, a career going now with Philadelphia. Um, he was with Havana, and for some reason they they traded him away. There's a lot of weird trades going on here uh, for two guys that didn't mean a, a diddly squat. And Mike Wolf just this year just blew the heck up. And I mean he strikes out a ton, but he hit 50 homers batting 306. This guy is a, a career minor leaguer. Nothing, nothing, nothing special. Nothing to write home about. Uh, Rob Nen of Portland, uh, Beck of San Francisco, came back after being injured. Uh, and Jeff Brantley, so they're. Yeah, 42, 34, 32. See, this is where the save should be. Most most of the guys that are going to be stoppers will probably have 30 saves. Because the stopper will come in in the seventh inning if it's like the two, three, four hitter. Uh, rather than, for most teams. Or they'll come in the eighth inning. Rather than face the seventh, eighth, ninth hitter. Because that's the way it should be anyways. And most pitchers are going to try to go as long as they can. Which means someone like Pedro, Mart uh, Pedro Martinez... Will probably not be the most dominant pitcher uh, like he was in real life because uh, he was sort of flaky when it came to consistency of pitching long into ball games. Like sometimes he would pitch over a hundred. As soon as he hit a hundred pitches, he he'd be horrible. He'd fall apart. And sometimes uh, he would have like freaking perfect games into the tenth inning, you know, while pitching like 110, 120 pitches. So I don't know, but most of the time. When he went over 100 pitches, he uh, just fell apart. So uh, that so he probably won't be uh, perfect uh, or great like he was. But again, he won in ERA. He tied with Chris Hammond this year of Pittsburgh, who has been very fascinating uh, coming in into Pittsburgh. Uh, Pittsburgh is a and he's out for two or three months. But Pittsburgh has been, uh, if we look at the standings. Pittsburgh has been up here, like the two through four. Pittsburgh has been in in the hunt for, and they lost the World Series to the Angels. By the way, yeah. So that 1995, the 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 Pirates went and lost uh, to the Angels, and who lost to? All right, I'm sorry. Who lost to the Beavers? Oh, the Yankees did. The Yankees lost to the Beavers. 
Pittsburgh Pirates lost to the Angels. Yep, and there was no World Series in 1994, you jerks. Okay, so... Without further ado, uh, let's look at... Oh, wait. Uh, runs against Defensive Fizzy. Yeah, you can see, here it is. The Braves and Portland are, like, really good, really t uh, tied to each other when it comes to pitching. The Braves, though, um, home runs and slugging, I don't know. And, but they don't have Greg Maddox, who's hurt, and they don't have Tom Glavin, who's hurt. And they've been hurt since last year. That's going to be something. Uh, the American League. This guy. Mike Mis Musuraka? I don't know who this guy is. But yet, he's the best pitcher in the freaking league. He just came, and he's going to be the rookie of the year. Walter, jo uh, Randy Johnson. Yeah, Walter Johnson. Randy Johnson uh, got the wins, and he's got the strikeouts, 280, which is phenomenal. Uh, Percival has got uh, 44 saves for the second place 100 win Angels. That's something the Mariners should do, but apparently no. But Mariners are the offensive juggernaut of the league. Um, except Texas smacks more homers, and uh, the Yankees get on base more. And they're going against the pitching of the Toronto Blue Jays. And Seattle is in the run here. They're, they're, they're there when it comes to pitching. We'll have to see. It, right now, it looks like Atlanta should beat Portland and Seattle should beat Toronto because Atlanta is all over the team batting. Portland's not there. Portland's all over the team pitching and Atlanta is like third on some of them. Same thing with here. Like Toronto here, Seattle's there. Toronto, or Toronto, Tor Seattle here, Toronto, Toronto, you know, but I don't, oh, well, on base percentage, Toronto right there. So, but run scored and batting average, all Seattle. Roy Halladay became Roy Halladay this year. Last year, he was sort of the stopper, part-time starter, pitched in 72 games. Now he's got 35 games. How many complete games has this boy got? It doesn't show. No, it doesn't show. It shows it in span. Nope, it doesn't care about complete games. So it must. Be, where is it? Right here. Ten. Ten complete games. Two shutouts. That's what he's gonna become. Um, you got Alex Rodriguez, Derek Jeter leading in batting average, and he steals quite a few. 49 stolen bases, 9. This is when he was young, uh, 23 years old. Um, came aboard, yeah, 292, 353, 360. Yeah, this is Derek Jeter. I, he should hit more doubles. Uh, yeah, it should be, it should be about 30 doubles, maybe 8 triples. Um, Hopefully the steroid error doesn't pop up. He should only hit about like uh, maybe 10 homers. And that should be Derek Jeter in a nutshell. Uh, maybe 100 walks and 58 strikeouts. Something like that. And 40 stolen bases. Uh, home runs, Tony Batista. Oh boy, this guy. Did he get... I think he got pegged. No, he didn't get pegged for PEDs. Uh, but he is. I think he is. Never causes him a hint of trouble. Let's see how smart. I don't think he's smart. Uh, Intelligence, work at. Ah, uh, he's, he's there. Controversy 14. So I don't think he's. He's like middle of the pack. So, uh. Greed 79. Yeah, he's. he's he would probably be okay. Uh, Juan Gonzalez. He was pegged for PEDs. He's. Ooh, he's come back. And he's come back. Yeah, he had a down year last year, but he came back this year. Uh, and Suzuki Ichiro is uh, essentially starting his career when he should have. And I guarantee he'll pro he's going to chase. Unless he gets hurt, he's going to chase. Uh, he's going to chase Pete Rose, one of the most pure hit hitter in the league, man. Uh, who else? Mark Clark. He's been a surprise. He's been a workhorse. Though. Look at him. 227, 232, 257. And his ERA is always like a 
Well, the first year, not so good, but, you know, he was, what, 26? 3.25 3.35. So Cleveland's got a nice starter going on there. Steve Avery um, got out of the shadow of Glavin, Smoltz, and uh, um, Maddox and is now um, the ace, well, one of the aces of the Angels. And he was the ace most of the time because Mark Langston was hurt. Mark Langston got hurt. Oh, no, actually not Mark Langston, Chuck Finley. Mark Langston got hurt at the end of the year, and that was a disaster because they had to bring up some guys that really sucked, and they lost the division by one game. So, let's go. Playoff coverage. Boop, boop, boop. We're going to continue. Wait, wait, no thanks. Finish today. Game in... Okay, hold on. So we got... Okay, so Portland. Portland defeats Atlanta 11-6. to Wow. So much for pitching, huh? So Andrew Jones hits a home run. John Hopkins doesn't hit a home run. Wait, what? What the... Uh-oh. There's a bug. What the hell happened there? Hold on. Box score... Why did John Hopkins pop up? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Blouser and Lopez had two, two errors. Ah, so that really... That really hurt Schmidt. Jeez. Oh well. You can't you can't goof you can't goof the ball up there. Alright, so let's see. The Blue Jays defeat the Manor 17 to 3. What the hell is going on? Oh my god. What is going on here? 17 to 3. Roy Halladay goes nine innings, a complete game in the playoffs. That's what I'm talking about, Holiday. Ron Falone. Wait a minute. Are you even a starting pitcher? He is a starting pitcher. No, he's not. He's got 35. What are you doing, Seattle? What happened here? Chris Bozio. What happened here? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't I don't think Lou Pinella has openers. I think something happened. I don't know. He's he's classified as a starting pitcher. So wow. Um Sean Green kicked the crap. Roberto Alomar. Delgado hit two home runs with five RBI. Nice. Wow. Okay, so pff, my little Bull crap is uh is off the table. All right, here we go. Eight to six. I guess that's a little bit better. Julio Franco hit a home run. Gary Sheffield. Klopaski hit two. Come on, guys. What what is going on? I don't want home run. I don't want steroids. <laughs> Damien easily hit a home run. Uh, jeez. So, Smoltz gets blasted. Um, but they come back. I don't know how. I mean, jeez. They just smack the doubles out of everything. and So, they, they, they kick the crap out of Wit in the first inning. He only lasts three innings. Okay, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. I'm still, I'm, I'm, I feel what you're putting down. Uh, Bobby Taylor comes in, or Billy Taylor, 35-year-old Billy Taylor comes in, walks two, strikes out two, gives up two hits. That's fine. Then Myers comes in, probably a lefty. Yep. Uh, Lee Smith, oh no. Lee Smith uh, comes in and 
Did Damien easily? Yep, Damien easily hit hit that off of Smith in the seventh inning, three run shot. And Portland tried its best. They were just kind of like one run, one run, one run, two run, one run. We almost got it. Nope, we're out. We're out. And Wooler, Wooler shut the Wooler shut it down. Three strikeouts. Wow. Give up one home run to Mirabelli, the catcher, the light hitting catcher. All right, this this these playoffs are not going anywhere that I thought would go. All right, we're done. Pat Hankin, Trey Moore, stim simulate that one. Did I mean is? Is Randy Johnson hurt? He is not hurt. But he has not pitched. But yet it says he's pitched. What? No, 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 no. No. Always start high highest rester. You gotta you gotta give that to me. What are you what are you doing? Yeah, these guys are right, but you... Mm -hmm. Alright, let's try this again. Playoff coverage. Alright, so Trey Moore. <laughs> Delgado has three home runs. Green has two. Posada had one. Oh yeah, Posada. Uh, for some reason, the Yankees hate catchers. So they traded away Joe Hall, who is now... I think he's what... He's having a good year with somebody. Um, but these guys got rid of him for Juan Guzman, who didn't really do that well, and some Grochow guy who is not doing that well. So, and they kept Mike Stanley, like, and Stanley's like 35, and they got rid, I think they had, they had Leyritz, they got rid of him to the Angels for nobody. This is really weird. All right, Portland and Atlanta. Chris Bach versus Yeah, this is this is where Atlanta is going to really hurt. Five to three. Oh my god, that's a little bit better. Still, three home runs though for Atlanta for all of their homers. Look at that. For all of their runs. So yeah. So three runs by Atlanta. Or no, five runs by Atlanta. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm sorry. Dirk. So Brock actually won. Three walks, two strikeouts. Warlers comes in, hit four strikeouts in two innings. This guy's a beast. Burkett lost. Uh, didn't pitch badly. One walk, seven strikeouts, but he gave up two homers. Um, and the big one was Jermaine Die. So Chipper Jones was on, and Bang. There you go. Uh, Blouser. Yeah, Blouser's hitting pretty well, so I don't know what... Bobby Cox is doing something right. He's doing something right. Uh, McGriff's hitting 300. Andrew Jones isn't doing so well. Klesko is betting second. I like this lineup. This lineup is a good lineup. Um, Portland. I like Portland's lineup. Castillo, Kotze, Mill Millar. Shetfield, that looks good. Millar's not doing what he's supposed to be. Klopis Klopinski is playing shortstop instead of third. Uh, Julio Franco's playing third, so and Julio Franco's doing good. Marvin Bernard is back, but he is not doing well at all. Mirabelli's doing... Yeah, has three home runs. Mirabelli has three home runs. Wow. Okay. Doug Mirabelli, I hope you get a contract this year, man. I hope you got a contract coming. All right. 
Seahawks. Seattle. Here we go. Randy Johnson versus Mike Grayson. Thank you. Jeez. We, it's like, what happened if Toronto just, like, beat you, like, three games to nothing, and Randy Johnson never saw the, 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 the pitching the pitching mound? That, I mean, I'd fire Lupinella. All right, Randy Johnson. He won. Yes, there we go. Um, way too many home runs again. Yay. Veritek, Cruz, Roberto Alomar, 6-2. to two. Mariners over the Blue Jays. Uh, Suzuki, Ichiro, 364. Ichiro doing what Ichiro does. Um, Cruz, batting 333. Rodriguez. I, you know what? I keep on, I get confused. I see Rodriguez shortstop, and I'm like, huh? So he used to be in third base for the Yankees. Um, one for four. Tino Martinez batting 625. That's good. Veritek, 250. What a homer. Chavez is hitting well. Uh, they have a good group. I mean, Joey Cora, even Joey Cora is not that old. Oh, yes, yes, he's 32. But other than Joey Cora, these guys are all young. 23, 23, 22, 29, 25, 19, Eric Chavez. Holy shit. Joey Cora, 32. Albany is 25. Oh, my God. And Randy Johnson is 30. Well, okay. All right, so they're not going to have Randy Johnson. But their offense is tip-top. They're going to have a tip-top offense. Toronto, on the other hand, is getting old. So you got Tim Raines, 38, 29. Greens, 24, 25. Oh, they're good. Matt Williams, 31. This curl guy, 24, but he sucks. I don't know why this curl this curl guy is probably an injury replacement for somebody. Uh, Posada, Gonzalez, 24. Oh, well, you know, they're not that bad. Not that bad. Dad's, Desmond Smith is should be playing for Curl though. Uh, Posada had outfield assist. Okay, Green got Martinez at third base. What Martinez? Otino. Uh, yeah, and I mean, do they even have Edgar Martinez playing? Oh, Randy Johnson ties the AF, AL playoff game for strikeouts with twelve. He sets the playoff with strike with 13. Oh, and then he did it again. 14. Holy shoot. 14 strikeouts for Randy Johnson in seven and two-thirds. <whistles> yeah, baby. You gotta love it. All right. So, at least Seattle can say they did that. Now, two to one. This is it. They're going to throw Asfado Fernandez. They're going to go with him against Tommy Her uh, Harrison and 11 to 1 11 to 3 um, Portland let's see what we got on Portland Portland had Mirabelli again Mirabelli with another home run four home runs for Doug Mirabelli my god we're going to call it the Doug Mirabelli award if, if Portland actually gets out of this this playoff holy jeez this dude is not that good Oh, he is. He actually is good. No, he's... Well, he's not that good. This is his rookie year, too. I mean, he played like... Yeah, 1997 San Francisco. Oh, my God. Who, who, who did they get him for? For a box of rock? They got him for Rod McCall, who batted 161, didn't even bat his weight. And... Who else? Ray Aguilar. Who might be something. Oh, he's got, oh my God, 70 home run power. So he might, well, that might work out in the long run. But right now, Doug Marabelli has four homers and eight RBI in the playoffs. Give me that rather than a promise of some Aguilar guy actually hitting 35 home runs five years down the road. All right, so. Mm. Damien easily hit two home runs, so. If, huh. All right, so. Oh, they're actually not pitch hitting for their, or pinch hitting for their pitchers either. And Fernandez went the full nine. One walk, four strikeouts. Can't. All right. You know, you can, you can pinch hit for your, your, 
Oh, uh, they did double switches. I'm sorry, they did double. Look at double switches. Grab the sign. Got Oliver. Player of the game, Doug Marabelli, of course. Oh, Mike Michael was injured while pitching. All right. Here we go. Game four. This is it. Seattle's bringing the other Pedro Martinez. And Toronto's bringing the surprise of the year, Jamie Walker. 13-3, two saves, 2.85, only 13 walks. That's right. And they got it. So Roberto Alomar, six, bat 6-11. Wow. My goodness. And Sean Green bat 500. Delgado, 3-5 and five with three homers. Wow. Um... Desmond Smith, you really should put Desmond Smith in for Curl. But apparently they're keeping Curl in there. Well, he had two walks. Posada didn't do so well. Gonzalez, not so good. Uh, they are doing... All right, so they got Shannon Stewart. They pitched it. Shannon Stewart, another good good player there. Why isn't Shannon playing center... Oh, he can't play center field, can he? Yeah, he really sucks at center field. He is a, left, he is a, a limped arm, freaking left field left fielder so unfortunately Seattle Mariner fans I I hate to tell you so that's you're gonna have to wait till next year which is what you always hear and next year never comes so the roof was closed 65 years oh and uh, Toronto wins it in the sky don't and Walker didn't really have a very good game uh, Kelvin Escobar blew the save but did the error? Sada and Curl. They're gonna be the they're gonna be the ones that are gonna lose them. Um, Roberto Alomar. Biggest celebration Toronto ever seen. Dude, you won two World Series. Relax. You know Toronto. Toronto's not sitting there going, "Hey, uh, did we win a World Series four years ago?" I don't remember that. Well, then we better celebrate like uh. Big celebration like we never had before. Okey doke. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not how you. Oh, we we're a boat. Oh, we're a boot to win another World Series there, eh? Uh, so what we're going to do there is we're going to get the dukes out, and then we're going to get a pack of smoke and some back bacon. Oh wait, hold on there. Hey, hoser. Wait up. Wait, hold on. We're going to the World Series. Oh, you know Cito Gaston? He doesn't sound Canadian. Oh, hoser, you shook up my beer. What's going on, eh? Oh, no. Oh, take off. All right. And Seattle is just going to write bad poetry and drink overpriced coffee. All right, so this is it. Can Portland go to the World Series? Two years in a row. Uh, go to the... Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Go to the playoffs three years in a row. I really think... I think they win... I think they got beat by Pittsburgh in 95. No, second. Let me look. Who, who got beat by Pittsburgh in 1995? Team Index? No. Uh, 90, what if, if I do 96? What happens? No, it just goes to here. Um, shoot. Oh, NL over here. There we go. Dodgers. The Dodgers are 105.49. Wow. Look at these Delano de Shields. Where's he at? He's still with LA. Jose Offerman. He's still with LA. Mike Piazza's gone. But he bet he hit 409 that year. Roger Cedeno, he's still there. Garros, he's not doing as good. Tim Wallach, is he retired? No, he's playing for Seattle. He didn't see any time. He's probably getting thrown out. Brett Butler, he's retired. Hollinsworth, he's still there. Wow, they went from 105 to... Jeez.
Brusky. Using Triple A with the Mets. Candiotti. He's in Cincinnati. Well, he did pretty good. That's pretty good. Break cancel. Minnesota. Hershiser's been hurt. Ramon Martinez is still there. Nomo sucks. Channel Park? He's still there. I don't know. I don't know. Butter my butter my butt and call it a biscuit. I don't, I have no idea how they went from 105. Well, you know why? Because Tommy Lasorda is a great manager. That's why. He like a pasta. Now he's on a Weight Watchers. What is that? The what he was? No, he was. I think yeah. I think he was a spokesman for Weight Watchers. All right. So no Portland. Yeah, came in second. Came in like third or something like that. All right. So. Noop, noop, noop. Playoff coverage. Um, Portland. Here we go. Jason Schmidt versus Orlando Hernandez. And they did it. Portland again defeats Atlanta like they did last year to go to the World Series. So now it's going to be Portland versus Toronto. And Toronto just decimated Seattle. I mean, they had guy, they had three guys hit, hitting uh, almost 400 and uh, over. Now, but, wait, how is Gary Shetfield? Oh, come on. Really? Really? You're, you're going to give the MVP to Gary Shetfield over Doug frickin' Marabelli. That's you bastards. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. Sorry, Doug. You got, you got no love, man. No love. <sighs> because Gary Shetfield, what, hit three home runs this game? No, he hit his fourth home run. So if he didn't hit this frickin' home run to take, take it out, it doesn't get much tighter than that. To win a series in the last game is a thrill. Blah, blah, blah. Breathing a little easier now. Um, who was the disappointment? I mean, there wasn't. Uh, Chipper Jones was a disappointment. He hit. He hit sixty six home runs in in the. He hit sixty six home runs in the year. Is the single season home run champ with Dante Bichette, and he hit zero. In what? Seven games? Five games. Five games he hit no... He didn't hit a home run. Jason Schmidt had a horrible playoff. Lando Hernandez didn't have a great playoff at all, but Rob Nen did. Mark Wollers had a great freaking series. And, uh... And Bill Hassman, oh, he got hurt. Charlie O'Brien, no, no, that's not the Charlie O'Brien, right? No, twenty-two years old. I was gonna say Charlie O'Brien is like a, it was a forty-year-old, probably a thirty-eight-year-old catcher by now. I was like, man. And one thing I did, a uh, test run I did, Charlie O'Brien was was the guy that actually got traded, like Lee Smith. He got traded to Toronto. They won the World Series. Got traded to Braves. He won the World Series. It was like. I'm like, my God, whoever has Charlie O'Brien wins the World Series. And he was the backup catcher on all three teams. So, so that's it. Um, we are going to have, go back to the homepage. The Portland Beavers are going to try to defend their, uh, their crown. Uh, we're going to continue the World Series here. Game one tomorrow. We'll finish today. And it is going to be Roy Halladay, the youngster, versus Bobby Witt, the wily veteran, who ever, ever since he's come aboard, having two bad years... Or, jeez. Oops, 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 oops. Don't play. Having... Wow. I mean, never having a good year. 
just coming to Portland and finding a new life at the age of 30. Wow. Look at him. Like take it 5.48, 4.9. 3.92, 5.14, 3.36 was decent. Like 1990, it was. It took him five years to come back, and holy jeez. And his whip just went tap. Wow, that's a great. That's a great story right there. Um. So who's gonna do it? It's is Bobby Witt's little three year plan gone? Uh, is he gonna falter here? Um, who's going to, who's going to be the, the, the other guys? I mean, is Valdo Fernandez is pretty damn good. Uh, but can Mike Grace come back with Toronto? Uh, Jamie Walker didn't have a very good playoff game, but can he have one here in game four? If it gets, or, uh, I mean, if it gets there and he, he might not pitch, Roy Halliday might come in. So will Jamie Walker, I mean, hopefully will, will Toronto win one game? So Jamie Walker with his 13 and 3 record and 2.85 ERA, can he can he show that he uh, can can win a, a World Series game? Uh, we'll we'll go over all of that. Uh, we'll do the World Series next um, next time next week. Um, probably during Sunday, I'll probably throw uh, uh, another video with uh, me going over every team uh, real quick. Um, and what I want to ask is, uh, uh, thank you for for coming on so long, listening to me rant, and follow my Discord down there. Um, follow my Discord, and in the Discord there is something where you could create a player where I'm going to throw you into the draft next year. And most of you guys, uh, well, all you guys are going to be like three three star prospects, or you know, two and a half three stars, uh, and you're going to go through the minor league. So even if you don't know baseball. Every time I do a video, we're going to do a spotlight on all of the user players. Uh, you can make up a name. You can use your real name. It doesn't matter. Uh, just fill out that form in the Discord and let me know. Thank you. Get up my interlawn.